So you've downloaded your Syntronic library and after that long wait, it's installed. You try to load a sound and you get this. Here's how to fix it. At the end of the last video, I started downloading the files for the IK Multimedia Cine V expansion for Syntronic. Sometime later, it downloaded and installed. And here we are. So I thought, right, I'll just load up a sound and have a listen. Ask Mr. Kobayashi, a beautifully sweeping resonant pad with a selection of effects. Wonderful. Let's go for it. Or let's not. In a previous video, I talked about how after the download had finished, the sounds didn't get installed into the correct place and I was left getting an error message. Well, this is the error message. But let's have a look at it. It's the library drive, IK Multimedia, Syntronic Samples, Synergy, Cine V, and it can't find the rest of the gubbins. So let's have a look what it's looking for and see if we can find it. So we'll just come out of Cubase, dazzle ourselves. This is where it's looking, L IK Multimedia Syntronic 2. And if you go into here, you'll see that there's presets, instruments, resources, multis, and samples. And that's where it can't find the samples it's looking for. So here we have all of the Syntronic files. These are the ones for Custom Shop, because, because they, there's something for every single one of the Syntronic instruments there, I think. But we come down here to the Cine V at the bottom, and you'll see it's got all the folders. It goes from acoustic piano all the way down to FM synth fuzz 2, and then there's a jump to square decay. Let's see if we can find those samples. Over here on my, my documents folder, there is the IK product manager. I looked at this in a previous video, how this just blooms with content that it doesn't do anything with once it's stall installed it. It just sits there clogging up your hard drive. And as you can see, I've downloaded a few of these that are in the current group by, but we'll go to the Cinevi. And what we find in there is a series of zip files. So we drill down into there, into the samples folder, and we find, oh look, Acoustic Piano 1, all the way down to drum kit. So that's down to drum kit. There we go. So that's that one, part one. Similarly, we'll open them in a new window so you don't have to watch me scrolling around all the time. Syntronic 2 sound content. Electric guitar, there we electric guitar 1, down to synth fuzz 2. Electric guitar one, synth fuzz two. So that's it. So let's have a look in number three. Samples. Hang on a minute. We are looking for square decay and we've got all of these interesting samples that are not currently installed. So all you simply do is drag them all If we go up to the samples folder and just drag them all into that Cine V folder. Back in a mo. So they've copied across and now we'll open that Cine V folder and we should find if we go down to the bottom but we have all of these from FM Synth Fuzz 3, there we are, all the way down to Record Scratch 2. But we've still got this square decay. Now notice the date. The date's important. In fact, you might not be able to see the date because it's beyond my head. Here's the date. The sec these are installed today on the 2nd of May. This was installed 
on the 22nd of April. This installed when I downloaded the factory content for Syntronic. So let's go back to this one. And what we will do is we will go back up to here. That was in part three. Let's have a look what's in part four. And here we have more content, including Square Decay. It's there, but this lot hasn't been installed. So, so what we will do is we will select all of them. Once again, go back up to our samples folder so we can drag the lot in one clean sweep into Syntronic Synovy. And again, I'll be back in a minute. And it's picked up the fact that we already had the files for the square decay. Well, I'm going to replace them so that everything is up to date and current. So that's that. So let's go back into Cubase and have a look now if we open our instrument to see if Mr. Kobayashi will load. And there you are. Mr. Kobayashi doesn't seem to want to load. And there we are. We've now got a beautiful resonance sweeping pad. Well, let's see if we do indeed have. I'm not hearing anything and I'm not seeing anything. try Mr. Kobayashi now. So clearly you have to unload and reload your um, instance of Syntronic in order to pick up the changes. There it is. creeping in there. I think that's uh, probably an artifact from the fact that um, and here we've got the Cape May lead. And one more just for the fun of it. And that is how you replace missing samples in Syntronic 2. So as always, I hope this has been useful. If you do find it useful, please like and subscribe. And as always, until next time, you take care of yourselves.